What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Kadir here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Sigma Art 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 lens and why I think you need this lens in your kit. Let's talk about this lens. I'm not going to go uh, real technical um, about it, but to me, I think this lens is fantastic. If you're doing like YouTube and you just are doing videos like this where you're sitting down talking to the camera um i think this lens is fantastic and you know you should get it so i'm doing a lot of uh street photography i'm doing a lot of video work and um i think this lens is a great hybrid for both of those kind both of those lines of work and um here's why the 18 to 35 focal length at 1.8 aperture is like it's five it's just five like 1.8 aperture that gives you like the a nice shallow depth of field um through like the entire focal focal range and that's like really useful because like it basically makes it a beast and low light so like right now i'm not shooting like outside or anything and i'm i'm filming on the t3i this lens is like this camera is like terrible in low light and like without this lens it would be impossible for my setup to look this good because yeah, that, that just shows, you know, how great this lens can be. Like if you just, you know, you have the right the right lighting set up and, you know, you're doing, you know, you have the settings right, I think you can get awesome results because right now I'm filming on the T3i and this camera's like six years old and I think the picture quality looks pretty good. Um, but other than that, like this lens is a beast. Like with the 18 to 35 millimeter focal range, that's about like, a 28 to 56 millimeter if I did my math right on a full frame sensor and that's not bad for you know if you're doing portrait photography because at 56 millimeters that's like that would look great for um you know that still give you that shallow depth of field and it's not going to create a lot of uh, distortions in the face when um you're, you're shooting your portraits or you're shooting your headshots whatever so if you're looking for a new lens um I would highly suggest looking at this lens because this lens has a low aperture. Um, you know, this lens is just a beast, you know, if you're doing a lot of, if you're a hybrid shooter, so yeah. I'm gonna talk about some cons of the of this lens. Um, I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons of this lens. So one of the, I mean, it's not really an issue for me, but one of the issues that people are talking about is the fact that this lens doesn't have image stabilization i don't think that's a that's a huge problem and you shouldn't get this lens if you're doing like handheld video work just because i just because the lens makes the the camera body a little bit heavier and that um that way it kind of eliminates some of the micro jitters that you'll get from like trying to do a b-roll for handheld b-roll you just have to you know really play with it and learn how to um you know hold the camera properly one of the issues about this lens that people often are talking about is how this lens is really heavy you know i like the heaviness of the lens it feels really durable so i know that like if it drops you know i mean i think the lens is gonna be it's pretty much gonna be you know okay because this lens is just so heavy it's like the build quality is like very good um it feels very professional in my hands and it's just like high quality piece of piece of glass um i want to say this is the only lens you need for video I'm not sure, but this lens is pretty far and definitely uh, you need it in your kit if you're filmed with the APS-C camera. If you haven't yet, make sure you like this video, comment your favorite color, and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.